Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 13th to June 19th, 2022. This is a general reading, so take whatever resonates and leave behind for others whatever does not. To go deeper into what lies ahead this week, check out readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. On June 13th, Mercury, which rules messages and the mind, enters its home sign of Gemini. On June 14th, there is a strawberry supermoon in Sagittarius, which inspires adventure and expansion of the mind. This reading explores those themes. In this first column, we get a message from the unconscious mind. You have heart, home, compassion. You also have Knight of Cups, Queen of Coin, Five of Cups. In the second column, we get a message from your higher self, Hawk Spirit, let spirit be your guide. You have Seven of Cups, 10 of Coins, Eight of Wands. And in this third column here, we find out where your truth is leading you. You have opposition, confrontation, seven of wands, page of cups, king of cups. So here, message from your unconscious mind, this heart, home, compassion, kind of indicates um, that's where you are kind of uh, with a five of cups, it looks like some kind of loss, some kind of upset uh, when it comes to um, possibly a relationship, perhaps a romantic relationship or even just a friendship. Um, but here with the, the queen of coins, this is a queen of nurturing, uh, self-care, compassion, um, making, making you feel better about, um, what's the word? It's overall health even, um, making sure that you are tending to yourself so that you can, um, you know, maneuver around your environment so that you could be there for others. But right now it's a time, a time for self-care. So maybe um, even time at your own home. If you are someone that uh, you tend to feel better when you spend time with certain family, certain friends, then doing that. Um, and kind of allowing that um, some time to heal, some time to, you know, not be so hard on yourself, maybe not be so hard on others, and kind of just allow yourself just to be without any type of expectation and just allow yourself to be nurtured and focus on your sense of just being grounded. So let's take a look at the Five of Cups over here. You have the Five of Swords and the Fives are about conflict, confrontation, um, instability, and kind of chaos. And with the Five of Swords, it's a sense of winning at all costs, a false sense of victory, not knowing when to walk away from a lose-lose situation. If you, are, um, if you are in a situation where you feel there's still like fighting, just to 
do something with that upset, then that kind of indicates it's a lose-lose situation. Um, dwelling in the lost without actually looking at where you can learn and grow from it, that's, that's also like a, a lose-lose situation. And um, kind of um, not recognizing not recognizing the uh, potential for, you know, just letting things be. That's a lose-lose situation. So let's take a look at the Knight of Cups here because it seems that messages of the heart are a key focus. And you have this Moon card which is in sense of, you know, a lack of clarity, um, a lack of clarity and possibly, you know, doubts, fears, anxieties coming up. It's a need to tap into the, to your intuition. So if you are kind of stuck in a place of grief or loss, it makes um, tapping into your intuition a little bit more difficult. Um, that's why this Queen of Coin, Queen of Pentacle energy of, um, you know, making sure you're grounded, self care, making sure that you're getting sleep, you're, um, you are eating well, staying hydrated, being, um, you know, going out for a walk being with nature, just being in a place where you feel refreshed, um, connected in your mind, body, heart, and spirit. This will help you, you know, with a healing process, whatever, um, you know, upset, whatever needs to be healed, it'll at least give you a better um, vantage point, better place to be, especially if you can tap into your, your intuition here. Um, Let's take a look at the Queen of Coins. You have Nine of Swords. This is a this is a lot of fear and anxiety going on here. Um, that may be stemming from a, a sense of of, of self doubt to a certain degree, um, but. It seems like maybe there's a problem that you're trying to fix that you really have no over, no control over, um, a sense of possibly um, just really overthinking something in a way that's not not helpful for you, not helpful for a situation, and just it's not preparing you for for anything. If it is preparing you for something, then it's, you know, it's preparing you for not being in a clear, you know, headspace. Um, it's affecting your ability to tap into your intuition. Um, it might cause you to do things that you regret later, um, like lashing out. So here it's kind of just with this card of compassion, your unconscious mind is um, maybe you're trying to try to figure it out, try to make sense of a certain situation. And there's really no answer that's going to be satisfying. That's going to resolve the situation. Um, so for now, just allow yourself to do what's, you know, gives you comfort, allows you to heal allows you to suspend any judgments and, you know, just be. Maybe just veg out and watch movies that make you cry, like um, A Walk to Remember that, um, or Sense and Sensibility or Harry Potter um, or Lord of the Rings, whatever it is that is your cry movie and just kind of just get whatever the mind is trying to focus on to stop focusing on those things and 
give your sense yourself some room to grieve a bit and maybe it'll clear your mind and give you a sense of hope of you know what you what you do care about uh not a sense of hope of what you do care about uh, like a a deeper connection of you know what it is you you cherish about um yourself what it is it that you know lights you up that is outside of that situation um and definitely just focusing on a sense of being it you know healthy and um to the extent possible just making sure how you are in the physical emotional mental health way that you are in the best shape that you can be and not just let that fall to the wayside so with this message from your higher self this let spirit be your guide this hawk spirit it's kind of saying like really rise above a certain situation don't try to think things you know every little detail through try to see the bigger picture take the higher road of things and um kind of see what there is when you aren't looking so hard at the little you know minute details and trying to do if thens and um kind of allow yourself to be impressed by your environment so just um you know wa walking down the street or watching your harry potter movies or you know your love movies and noticing that um a phrase in that movie is something that someone had told you recently and it really lit you up in kind of you know recognizing synchronicities looking for signs like let spirit be your guide is kind of um allowing possibilities to happen around you um that take you out of your headspace and bring you back to the present time and actually you know recognize um you know what is going on around you and being aware of things that are external to you here you're focusing on you know your your uh physical mental you, yourself um internal aspects here it's like kind of looking at the external aspects you have the 10 of pentacles here and that's a, a sense of um security material wealth and the traditional ten of coins uh you can see there's different generations of people hanging out together having fun and so kind of like focusing on that environment that lights you up uh with the seven of cups here it's a sense of imagination and uh things that haven't really come to fruition but here i'm kind of sensing it more as recognizing the beauty of things around you and how how those things can change um i'm drawn to this uh symbol for venus and this symbol for uh scorpio which the corresponding um corresponding cards for them are um I believe like the empress and the death card so really taking um allowing spirit to kind of show you in your environment things that um catch your attention so really paying attention to uh maybe something that catches your eye you think that there's a i don't know lizard uh that runs across the ground and you notice it's this really amazing um shade of blue in certain spots on its throat and on its belly and kind of um recognizing that and then kind of maybe going online and shopping for something and noticing that same color blue of a shirt and you're like 
spirit wants me to get this shirt. And it'll look amazing on me. Something along those lines. Um, and with the eight of wands here, you've got, um, it's usually about messages and progress. Here with the birds flying around it, it's kind of making me think more of, um, uh, I'm thinking more that it's messages, like look to the sky, notice what birds are flying around, notice shapes of clouds, things along those things, uh, those lines. So let's take a look at the tent of the Ten of uh, Pentacles here. You have the Three of Swords. So kind of sensing um, conflict with your ability to get a sense of structure and balance with your thoughts right now and really being the present being in touch with your environment is something that will, you know, can help with the situation there. And I was going to clarify the Eight of Wands. You have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is kind of just jumping into action, really not getting grounded, not having um, a thought, well thought through planned, even though they're they may have good intentions. Um, they're all about action. Um, but they are more looking at the end result and not the present moment. It's always kind of wherever they are in the present moment, they need to be somewhere else doing something else. Um, but here with the let spirit be your guide, it's almost a need to kind of Tap in more to your intuition and get your um, certain thoughts that you have, certain ways that you're thinking about things to really try to tame those. So let's take a look at the Seven of Cups. You have Eight of Coins, and this is usually a work card. But it's also a card about um, investing in something, kind of putting your heart and soul into something. And with the, um, what I was saying before about the, this concept of, you know, Venus and Scorpio, the Empress and death, it's almost a um, kind of a card of putting your heart and soul in recognizing beauty around you and allowing, recognizing um, changes. You, you know, you can be in the present moment and recognize um, how things um, are different, you know, in the scenery. And it kind of will allow you to, you know, what you see in your environment, appreciate things in your environment. And then it allows you to kind of appreciate things about yourself so it's almost as if spirit is, again, trying to get you out of your own head and be in the present moment and recognize your environment, recognize, um, you know, beauty and change. And somehow that may affect this truth. Um, truth is leading you to opposition and confrontation. With the Seven of Wands, it is a sense of feeling that you're being tested, you're being questioned, and you need to, you know, stand your ground, you need to, you know, come out on top. Um, to a certain degree, it's a, um, you know, you have this Mars in um, Leo, card here. Mars is a card of like war, Leo. Um, that's your sign. There's uh, basically the, sorry, that's your, um, that is your sign, but the strength card. So I really um, 
it's almost a call for you to uh, recognize how to deal with confrontation. This opposition confrontation card, um, to some degree, kind of is having you recognize that situations occur um, not to make you feel bad, not to kick you down, um, but to help you grow and get stronger and improve. And uh, it's kind of allowing you to kind of build your muscles up when it comes to situations that aren't um, ideal, when it's uncomfortable. Um, there is a, something that will allow you to, it'll allow you to take that high road to kind of see things from a, a, a bigger scale and kind of recognize that certain things um, aren't that important. Uh, certain things, emotions that you hold on, ways of thinking about a certain situation might not be important. Um, here with the Page of Cups, this is a card of not only messages and, you know, of love and creativity, imagination, it's a card of uh, sensitivity. It's the King of Cups, it's almost as if there's a recognition that you can be sensitive at times and if you feel that you're being challenged, if you feel that in almost in any way that there's someone trying to tap into your vulnerabilities, then you kind of gear up into this stance of, oh, let's, you know, bring it on. If you want to do this, I'll do this. Um, or not even that, just like, I can't believe that this person is putting me in this position. And, you know, both of those kind of viewpoints. Um, and really, it's, it's almost as if you have the opportunity with confrontation to tap more into this King of Cups energy, which is the ability to really be grounded um, and not be swayed by emotions, your own emotions or other people's emotions. The King of Cups is someone that is coming from a place of compassion, um, recognizing that everyone has um, a right to be loved. You know, everyone wants to be loved. Everyone wants to be accepted. Um, and that sometimes there's conflicts. Sometimes things come up where... They don't work out in a certain way. Um, but the King of Cups is also recognizing that there's um, something greater than themselves in the world and connections with other people, positive connections with others is one way to tap into that something greater. So let's take a look at the Seven of Wands here. You have the Six of Wands, and that is a card of victory, another card um, in Leo. So here, this is Mars in Leo, and this is, I believe it's Jupiter in Leo. Um, and Jupiter is about expansion and growth, luck, abundance. Um, so these cards here is, again, kind of focused on self. Uh, focused on how you can succeed, how you are being challenged. Um, and I think with these, these cup cards here, it's more kind of allowing you or inviting you to see things from a different situation, different viewpoint and, you know, you know, walk, walk away when things aren't for your best and highest good. So let's take a look at the Page of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups. Again, it's, you know, a sense of really 
embracing those emotions, allowing you to tap into your intuition over here. That really is going to lead you, you know, that is not going to only allow you to trust yourself more, but it'll allow you to express love and receive love um, in, I know, like equal amounts without restrictions. So recognizing sensitivities, vulnerabilities, embracing that because, you know, this is how you grow into the King of Cups. Recognizing there's some things that are more important than being right or being victorious. Let's take a look at the King of Cups over here. You have the wheel. And this is, you know, constant change. The best place to be when the wheel is turning is centered in the center of the wheel. And the King of Cups is definitely centered. The Queen of Coins is definitely centered um, in the wheel. And the commonality is that sense of compassion and a sense of reason and a desire to connect to something greater than themselves. Um, including their environment and those within it. So I'm hoping that this provides a helpful perspective of your week and we'll see you next time. Take care.